Okay, we're on the east side of the house where this swamp is um, breeding monsters and mosquitoes. But we're here for the condensing units. Okay, we've got a, this home does not have rain gutters. The, uh, we got a diverter though over the condensing unit. That's a good thing for the condensing unit. I've got other discussion, but a good thing for the condensing unit. This is the electric service receptacle so that the technician can bring a vacuum pump out here or whatever. It's GFCI protected. I did test that. This is the electric service disconnect. So we can, the technician can turn this off to be relatively safe. And it's laced up pretty good. We've got a still image of that. Our box is sealed around three sides. All right. Well, here's our condensing unit. I'm sitting here looking pretty good. It'd be better if it's 12 inches away, but, you know, it is what it is. And we're coming over here, and this is what I like to see. In fact, this is the first time I've seen this particular arrangement. It's perfectly acceptable to me, but we've got a nice protective cover over our refrigerant piping. That's a good thing. We've got anti-theft straighter valve caps. That's a good thing. And this is our data plate over here. This is new construction, so some of this isn't going to surprise us so much. All right. It's one year old. It was manufactured a year old. It was a, It was born a year ago. It's only been used so long as it's been sitting here recently. So it's probably got less than a year clocked on it. But it's one year old. This is a. It's five tons. It's properly fused. 50 amp fuse in the breaker box. Properly fused. And it uses. 410A refrigerant, which a month ago I would have told you was the good stuff. Now, you should expect some good utility out of this, but you should also know that 410A has been recently, a lot of people were familiar with R22 not being acceptable, um, and then now 410A. Uh, they're going to come up with some other refrigerants. They're no longer manufacturing 410 units. They're no longer making 410 unit parts. So as long as it's on the shelf, um, as long as it's on the shelf, then they'll be continued. And I'm sure that there's going to be people um, uh, bootlegging, uh, salvaging, uh, reclaiming refrigerant because they're no longer making the R410A refrigerant. And I don't know what to tell you to replace it with. I have no idea what to tell you to replace it with. So just know that, you know, times change. You know, technology. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Keeps people in business, I guess. So the only the only thing that I'm finding over here, you know, the 410 is just a, a cautionary tale. The only thing I'm finding is on your electrical piping coming through here, your conduit that protects the electric cables. We've got a hole in the wall right there, and they should be sealed up. I mean, they bother to seal all these other holes up. I don't understand why that one would be so special. So there, that's that's the case. Now, this is a heat pump system. So while we're calling this the condensing unit, and some people call it the air conditioner, which is not technically correct either, but this handles your heating most of your heating except in emergency mode or auxiliary mode and all of your air conditioning and so what this pump does is by the using refrigerant it compresses it creating heat and it releases it okay losing heat and that's why they call it a heat pump and it pumps the heat out of the house not the air you don't get fresh air you get it circulates the air and either adds heat to it or takes heat away from it because we only have heat we don't have very much heat today all right we do not have a hot thermometer and a cold thermometer so what happens on a day like today is this unit takes this air it's only 60 degrees it's not even 60 degrees right now okay so you anyway, know it's like 55 degrees there's 55 degrees of heat in the air and it brings the air across the coils and it extracts that heat so when you put your hand over the coil over the top of the fan the air feels cooler to you that's a sensation it feels cooler to you because there is less heat 
you open the front door and uh, the wind blows in and you go oh the cold air got in oh it just chilled me to the bone no it sucked the heat out of you the air that came in didn't have any heat and it came in and is robbing you of your heat so this is robbing this air from its heat and moving it from a to a more desirable location that's how a heat pump works it's kind of like an air conditioner with a reverse but I know it's more than you want to know but that's what a heat pump does but what did we learn basically what we learned you know that is a newer system um, you know subject to um, technological advances and time and um, the uh, electric piping down here should be sealed.